Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a Java program to count the number of words present in a string. Suppose you have a string variable called str. Now inside this string, you can have a multiple uh, words which will form one string, right? Let's say we have a value called welcome to Code Crush. So basically, there are four words here: welcome to Code Crush. So what we need to do? We need to count how many words are present inside that particular string so what will be the logic to find number of words present in a string so basically we will make use of string methods that will return us the number of words present in a string so the first method that you should know is the split method so what does this split method do the split method divides the string at the specified regular expression so this is rejects it means regular expression so what it will do it will divide the string at specified regular expression so it means that you can provide any regular expression inside this split method so what type of regular expression you can provide you can provide a white space uh, like means there is a space or different type of symbols like comma hyphen etc and accordingly your string will be divided on the basis of the regular expression that you have provided and accordingly it will return an array of substrings so this is the use of split method so it it might sound confusing what does this split method do so what we will do we will see in the demo what particularly regular expression we need to provide to the split method and what it will return in the form of array of substrings so here in the eclipse editor i have a class called word count and inside this class i have one main method now we will see how we can make use of split method here so first thing let's declare one string so i will say a string And then the variable name, let's say string, and then we will say here welcome to code crush. Okay, so this is our string here, and now we need to make use of a split method. So, here what you need to do, whatever string you have, then you can say a string and then dot, and then you have the different string methods available here. So, here you will have also the split method available so if i say a split then you need to provide a regular expression here that will divide our string into specified rejects okay so you need to provide a regular expression to divide our string so let's say i provide here a, a space here so you can have in double quotes and you can provide a space so what this will do whatever spaces we have in our original string it will divide with the help of that particular space okay and what this will return this will return as an array of substring so we need to store this particular values that are written by the split method inside a array now let's declare one array so how to declare an array type string so let's say string then the name of array let's say arr is the name and here we have the square brackets to declare it as array and we will provide a semicolon so that's it okay now what we will do we will print here array to see what exactly is available inside this array so how to print it with the help of for loop so let's say for in i is equal to 0 and i is less than array dot length so we already know the method here to calculate the length of array right array dot length and then i plus plus and here we will print here sys out arr of i now let's run this code so see we are getting here the words that are separated by the space so first word is welcome then we have two then we have code then we have crush okay now let's have a different regular expression here let's say we have a uh, exclamation mark here after welcome okay and I provide here a regular expression instead of space now exclamation. So what will be the available inside this array? Now let's observe the difference here. Okay. If I run this code now. So see, we are getting only two values here. First one is welcome 
and second one is two code crush in the previous when we were using the regular expression as space we were getting four values first welcome then two then afterward we have the code and after that we had the crush but now here we are getting only two values first one is welcome and then two code crush so what it has done it has divided our string with the help of this regular expression which is exclamation so before exclamation we have only welcome so we are getting your welcome and after welcome we have one space and then we have two code crush so that's why we are getting here one space and then two code crush now let's say if i remove this welcome here and after code i space uh, let's say here we have one comma and here also we have one comma and now with the help of comma we will divide this string now so observe the difference again so first thing we will get welcome to now we have here comma so that's why the next values will be printed that is space and code so that's why we are getting a space and code afterward there is again comma then it will again separate and there we are getting space and crush so that's why we are getting a space and crush so i hope you have understood the uh, work working of this method split so it will divide our string with the help of a regular expression and it will return us the array of substring accordingly so that was the first method split and now but what we wanted to do we want to count the number of words but we have already got the words now when we will use the regular expression as space we will always get what are the exact words that are present in our string right if i remove this your comma and also your comma so when we use the regular expression as space then we will always get all the words that are available inside our string into that particular array right with each word having a different value here welcome to code crush but now we need to count what are the different values present in the string so that's that's how we will get the length of that array right so we need to make use of length method so the length method return us the length of a specified string so what we will do now in the similar way the length method will also return the array length so instead of printing now what we will do we will say here sysout and we will say count of words count of words and then we will have here this array right so this array dot length so arr dot length so this method will always return the number of values that are present inside this array so if we use the space as a regular expression then we will get the entire number of words that are present inside this array so we will get a count of word as 4 and what was the question here to get the count number of words present in side a string so we have got now four words so that is correct we have we had four words inside this string welcome to code crush now if i remove this crush part here and say welcome to code then what will happen it will print me three because we have provided the regular expression here as space so it will divide our string with the help of this spaces so the first word will be welcome then second one will be two third one will be code and that's how we'll get the array dot length as 3 so in this way you can get the count of words inside a string with the help of a split method so it was a very simple code just a single line code here but you need to understand the functionality of split method so whenever interviewer ask you how to count the number of words in a string you can provide the code with the help of split method so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching